But it turns out that, that the ends of the lives of stars can be traumatic, right? So our sun, when it gets older, right? So it's, it's created hydrogen to helium. Some of that's going to leak into its atmosphere, etc. Our sun, when it gets older, it's, it's going to become... Uh, it's going to become cantankerous, right? So what happens is that the sun uses up all of its hydrogen in the core, so it's got no more fuel, and it sort of has to readjust itself to start burning helium. And that's not a good thing for the sun. And actually what that does is it upsets its internal sort of constituents, and our sun would actually start to swell and grow, and it becomes a red giant star. And so it will become larger than the orbit of Mercury, larger than the orbit of uh, Venus, probably larger than the orbit of the Earth, and that will be the end of the Earth. And eventually the outer layers will be blown off into space, and those, those layers, the gas will mix with other gas, and it will go into the next generation of stars and, and planets.